What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and this is my, oh I don't know, could be eight month I believe, eight month update on the Fluval Evo 13.5 gallon Nano Reef. Um, sorry about the glare from my lights back there. So this tank still uh, adjusting. I'm trying to get this light uh, adjusted. I cranked up the intensity and I'm getting some good feedback. The corals, the zoas are opening back up. Uh, even the Duncan, which was out for like a month, I want to say, is uh, starting to open back up. I just didn't think I had enough intensity. And from my uh, last update a long time ago, a few folks commented that I might want to turn this baby up. I got some coralline algae growing on the bottom of the tank and the back of the tank. Uh, the GSP, as you can see, is spreading. Um, I'm going to do a species special soon. I absolutely am in love with these uh, gobies right here. They are the coolest fish, these neon gobies. They're perfect fish for nano saltwater aquariums. They only get to about an inch, inch and a half. You know maybe two with the skinny tail but they're super frolicky look at him he just goes in one hole swims down checking me out uh his partner's around here somewhere moseying around got still got the two shrimp in here um like i said the tank really is coming along nicely as far as uh like maturing goes I have not put any corals in this tank in a really long time, and I don't plan on putting anything until I get this light dialed in. Um, the tank is really low maintenance. It's got really no algae problems, uh, no cyano problems. I do a water change like every two, maybe three weeks. Oh, here's his buddy. Hanging out. Let me get him without the glare. He's just hanging right there on the scraper. And like I said, uh, low, low maintenance. All, I'm, all I got in this tank is Biohome with filter floss. And then in chamber two, I have uh, Chemipure Blue and poly filter pad. Same as I run my 40. Um, and that's about it. Tank, I like the way the tank looks. It's, it's kind of different without a sand bed to have that white contrast with all the like purples and blacks and greens but I'm loving the maintenance it's super super easy maintenance sorry about the, uh, let's get you back back to here super super easy maintenance uh, water change literally takes me oh I don't know 10 minutes you just suck the suck the water out and dump it back in maybe change your uh, you know your filter floss once a month doesn't get all that dirty I feed really really light there's just the one uh, still mocha da Vinci clownfish in here and then the two uh, cleaner shrimps and then the two neon gobies and some snails and hermit crabs but other than that that's about it uh, the Kessel light I was not too sure on because of how the corals reacted uh, when I was still using the $29 Zoomed LED, the corals loved it. But now that I've slowly been dialing this in a little bit better and increasing the intensity, um, I can definitely see some reactions with uh, coral growth. And I just got to dial that light in, and then uh, awesome. I love the shimmer and just everything about it. But easy tank, easy going. Uh, not a lot to do. Maybe add some corals uh, coming down the road over the winter. But that's it. That's my update. Keeping it quick. I'm out.